Pew. G'day guys, what is up? Welcome to Motorfields, I'm Rob Hamilton. What an important day it is today. If you are new to the channel, me and Nick from Triumph Sydney, we're embarking on a massive tour around New South Wales. 14 days, four and a half thousand kilometers, and we are taking with us two of the uh, Founders Edition Mark I Foresight helmets, which I received last week and in my last week's video, I said I would not open this thing until I'm ready with you guys. We'll do a special unboxing. I'm gonna keep this all freshly sealed. Look at this. That's gonna be, it's gonna look the exact same. I'm gonna just do it for you guys. And today is that day, baby. Check it out. It is identical, untouched, untouched. So we leave in like, after this video is dropped, we leave in three days. So this drops on a Sunday, we leave on Wednesday. Um, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be actually incredible. So there'll be a full blown review on this as well after the tour. Um, during the tour, you're gonna see us using the whole thing all the time. It's the only helmets we're gonna be taking. So you'll get some mad insight on that. So make sure you hit like, hit subscribe on this video if you want to keep in touch or up to date with those videos. It's gonna be insane. But first, before we open this, um, Foresight Helmets. Who the hell are these guys? What the hell? Who's Foresight? Who's Foresight? So Foresight are based entirely in Sydney. Their crew, their distribution, the assembly, everything. It's all based in Sydney. Um, the name was brought about after the founder actually had an accident, hit an oil sleek, came off, hurt his knee pretty bad. So he came up with the idea of being able to um, have a helmet that can foresee these sort of events, hence the name Foresight. Pretty cool. So basically this one here is one of the Founders Editions. There are only a thousand Founders helmets available for pre-order. Basically Foresight toured Australia, got their followers to try on the helmets as like a try before you buy. And then with all the pre-order sales and everything like that, they were able to fund the business and they created this Founders Edition as a way to say thank you to the people that did all the pre-orders and everything. Um, so they threw in a few more extras, they did it for a good price. And, um, and yeah, and so that's what we're unboxing today, baby. Can't wait, should we do it? Let's do it. That's the that's the Bluetooth controller that goes on the on the motorbike handlebars. Uh, this is looks like a USB. What's that essentials? Yeah, USB. A couple of stickers, tools there in there. This is the camera shield. Replace the camera shield if your camera you know cracks a lens. The bar mount itself. So this mounts with the Bluetooth controller. So you can control all the stuff. We'll go through it very soon. And this is a surface mount, so you can stick this on the tank if you don't want to use the controller itself on the handlebars. Oh, is this a t-shirt? Hmm. I'll be right back. Woo, look at that. Look at this. Founders edition, baby. Look at that. And look at this ridiculous design on the back. Hopefully you can see it here. Look at that. Look at that detail, man. It's, it's actually insanely incredible. I love how everything's just so nice and high quality, you know? Oh, oh, there's the box. Okay, so, hmm, hmm. Zing. Whoa, check this out. <laughs> how, like, oh, look at that sheen on this thing. What? Yeah, you know, you know there's quality when the, um, the boxing is just off the hook, hey? You know it's, you know it's gonna be a good time. That is cool. box oh there's a founders edition note look at this it's all like it's all like nice and golden and look at this nice little note there from the founders saying thank you little thank you oh, that's so nice Um, so this is the extra large. I've got a, I've got quite a large head. Um, with the premier, with the, with the bells and everything, uh, I'm a medium. So this is 61 to 62 centimeters. Uh, but I do have a really thick padding in this one. I just didn't fit the large. Like I've, I don't know. I've got these like lumps in my skull here, and I was just pushing against it a little bit. Bit of a bummer, but oh well. This fits perfect though. So the shell is made out of carbon fiber. It's a super gloss weave. They've only got the one style so far. Man, these guys are just in the works. They've got so many things planned for these things. They're gonna have different colors, different styles of helmets. If you're doing touring, if you're doing MX, if you're doing like 
whatever, they're gonna have the helmet for you. So inside it has the drop down visor. It has an eight vent system. So it's all around the place, exhaust at the back and you've got the ports at the front on the top, front there as well. But I guess the thing that makes this, you know, unit so unique is the, the you know, the smart, the smart features. What are the smart features? This thing has a 1080p HD camera built into it, which is right here. Let me peel this little thing off here. I can see it. Whoop. So there is a camera built in right there and they've gone through some extensive testing with this as well to make sure it's just the right angle for all the different styles of bikes that you're riding. Um, they had it at the top of the helmet. The prototype didn't work, obviously, but the visor up blocks it off. That's a 160 degree lean angle. It is a 1080p camera at 60 and 30 frames per second. So it's just, it's handy just to whip that on. There's no GoPro mounted, like, you know, I usually use my GoPro and everything like that. And that adds a bit of weight to the front of it. Um, and there's a bit of a setup. You gotta buy all these different adapters, install a microphone and everything. Not with this man, Moto Vlogging is now made that easy. It's all built in. You just literally hit record on your little device and you start recording. There's an SD slot under here, so you can stick up to a terabyte SD there, USB port there, charge it up. Charging takes around two hours and you get around four and a half to five hours of um, continual use with it, depending on how you're using it, if you're using all the features or if you're just listening to music or whatever. And so that's super handy having that camera there as well. So just say you're coming home from work or whatever, and you just got it recording. I'll make pulls out in front of you. Boom, insurance job. You have the proof, baby. It's all there. It has a LED light bar. So no, no heads up display, so to speak, but right there you can see there's an, a, a light bar. It sort of sits just under your peripheral vision. I'll show you a demo of it anyway. We'll go through the demo mode. It's so sick. It's not a, it's not a heads up display, so to speak. You don't have crap in front of you just flying around, distracting you or whatever. It's pretty much the safest way to just be like, you know, turn right here, turn left here, there's cops coming, the weather's gonna be a bit crap. So it's just in your peripheral vision, um, no distractions whatsoever. Um, the light bar also dims in brightness uh, according to how the light is outside. So if you're going through a tunnel or whatever, the brightness of the, the, the lights will just dim a little bit just to save you from just getting smashed by lights in your face while you're riding. That whole section there is the electronics module and it only comes in at 200 grams, guys. That is so ridiculously light. Uh, the batteries are there as well. There's nothing in the in the shell apart from the speakers just on the sides The top of the helmet is actually completely clear and you're, you're pretty much safe there just in case you come off There's nothing nothing's gonna be hitting your skull there. Uh, the batteries In there are ceramic batteries. So if you pierce them um, If you if you cut them or anything like that, they're not gonna rupture. They're rupture proof, which is nice the shell with the electronics installed here is actually rated at a higher protection than if it wasn't. So it's actually safer to have it all in there. It's all part of the structural integrity of the helmet, which is awesome. And it all bends and flex. So if you do come off, it, everything just moves around the camera and everything like that. That's all like, it's all sort of floating. Um, but yeah, a nice, a nice little thought there for the, for the whole unit. It also comes, so it comes with the two visors. It comes with those, it comes with the iridium and the smoke. Where's that? Oh, what's in this? It's actually some more. There's actually some more things in here. No pin lock yet. They do have these though as a substitute. Little um, little defogger boy that you stick on the inside of the visor. Just makes it fog proof. Um, but yeah, pin locks will be coming. That's the smoked visor. That's just like a light sort of tint. Looks really cool on the helmet though. And this is the iridium visor. How mad does that look? This is what we'll be using for the tour, because we want that, you know, those iridium feels, baby. We want to be seen just by a mile away. It's been like, ah, oh, there are those boys again. There's those boys wearing them iridium visors. What sort of helmets are they, I wonder? Hmm. Foresight, baby. Foresight helmets. That's what we'll say. There are some pretty insanely good sounding speakers in there as well. And the, um, the soundproofing is done really nicely. Like I said, there's a microphone up in there somewhere. Let me just get some focus on that bad boy. So the microphone's all built in there. There's all vents and everything that you can close off. Um, look at that. Look at the lining on this thing, man. Right, look at it all in there. It's a very comfortable design. Ah, oh, I love the smell of new helmets, man. That new helmet smell. Oh, and of course, they've got the chin curtain in there as well. So stick that in the bottom, sort of reduces the wind noise as well when you're recording. Yeah, what do you reckon? I reckon we charge this little bad boy up, give it a little, some juice, and uh, we'll turn it on, put it in demo mode, see what it does, show you all the lights and everything like that, speakers, and I'll also run you through the app. And then we'll take it out for a little test ride, show you how it all works, and uh, I, think that, I think that's a good day. Mm. Two hours later. Ah. 
Isn't that the isn't that the best? That's the best sound and the best feeling. That little stuff. Okay, so the helmet's charged. I, I took the time while I was charging, and I was just like, <laughs> let's let's put the reading visor on. Look at that man. It's just the cleanest thing ever. Okay, anyway. So I've also set up the helmet as well. I paired it up, did it all. Um, you can jump over onto their YouTube channel. They have instructions on how to do all this sort of stuff. I'll link them here and put it all in the description as well for your needs, as well as their website. Go and check them out. Say hi, the good guys. This little, so this little guy here, so this is all Bluetooth connected as well. Um, you have your, your call button, you got a little nav button and you got a camera button as well. Um, so with the nav button, you can press that twice and it tells you, you know, what the last direction was to go just in case you're riding you're like, crap, was it, was it left? Was it left? Was it second, was it the second exit at the roundabout? I'm not sure, I can't remember. Call button, you can make calls, you can receive calls, you can end calls. How good's that? Again, instructions on how to use all this stuff, how many buttons to press and how many times for how long. That's all on the YouTube channel, so go and check them out. It's got your Siri assist or your Google assist. You hold the button in for a few seconds, boom, you got assist. And then you have the camera button down the bottom and you hit that, boom, you're starting to record, baby. You're recording. How mad's that? And then when you're recording, the light bar down the bottom glows like a soft red and just pulses every like 10 seconds. Just lets you know that you're rolling. They've also got volume there up and down on the side as well. So, you know, volume and do a USB port there as well to charge this little bad boy up and for firmware updates. And that's pretty much it, man. That is the handlebar mount, super handy. Okay, so jumping into this app, check this out. Check this little logo out. Whoa, how good does that look? That is definitely sexy. Okay, so you can just see there that down the bottom, both of the devices just connected automatically, previously paired, so that will just like snap up straight away. Boom, away you go. And the home screen, this is the home screen. So you fully just have your map, just like you would open like Google Maps or Waze or whatever. This is where you are. Um, you can just, this is the first stop that we're going to, Condoblin, so I'll just hit that. Bam, and from where we are right now, there it is, man. That's a long time, hey? <laughs> That's day one of our travel on Wednesday, three days time. Make sure you subscribe, keep up to date with our travels. It's gonna be insane. Wow, 468 kilometers. Okay, so, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Hit start, and then, phew, away you go, man. So also, in this app, you can go through, um, let's see, so they're, the ring around the helmet, that's the that battery life. I've got the, the unit still on charge. The helmet, 67% battery and 100% memory available on the, um, the SD card. How good's that? You can also go into settings. Uh, this is where you can just disconnect your helmet or whatever for whatever reason. And then from here also, top left hand corner, go up to your little profile thing. You can have your alerts, your sound and your radar. You can just turn everything off if you want. You just want to use this app and that's it. You don't want any of the lights, you don't want any sound and into your settings, starting from the bottom. Uh, so this is your video preferences, you can see, 30 or 60 frames. Mass delete, so mass delete is when you hold down the record button for six seconds, it literally just wipes out your memory card clear. Be careful. Map preferences, this, so this is pretty cool. If you want notifications for when there's cops around, if you want the helmet to tell you if they're 500 meters away, or if they're 100 meters away, or just turn it off. Same with everything else there. General preferences, voice select, so you can change the language, uh, firmware update. If there's any firmware updates, it searches for, you know, everything up to date, up to date, nice. Um, and the helmet demo, I'll go into that very soon. So the guys at Foresight built this app from the ground up. They did everything, they encoded everything. They spent thousands of hours tweaking it all, getting it all nice and personalized for, you know, for our pleasure. And there are gonna be new sections like uh, like weather, you're gonna be have your own like personal profile where it shows distance traveled, how many rides you've been on all that sort of cool stuff. They're gonna have a, a gallery as well. So much like the GoPro gallery in the app, you'll be able to just see what you've just recorded. You'll be able to go in, edit it, put a little grade on it, snip it up, chuck it straight onto Instagram or through your phone. Um, you'll also be able to upload onto a cloud-based um, server. So then you can just access your files that you've just uploaded from your helmet straight to the Wi-Fi without even having to do anything and then be at the pub or something and just be like, oi boys, oi boys, check out what I did yesterday, man. Like, check this wheelie out, it was pretty sick, eh? <laughs> uh, all right, so let's do this demo thing. You need, to, you need to get all in here to have a look at this. Welcome to your new Foresight helmet. Let me show you how it works. First, we scan the area for alerts using our magic software, then display it to you like this. Traffic ahead. 
Road hazard detected. Adverse weather imminent. Police reported nearby. Speed camera ahead. And don't forget happy hour. We can help you navigate. Turn left. Turn right. We're also watching out for bad drivers. Video recording. Now that I've shown you the ropes, let's hit the road. How sick was that? Let's go for a ride. This is the video. I literally just hit record. Boom, got the little glowy red thing. Let me know that it's recording. But this is it. This is the quality of it. Um, well, what's it look like? I'm so keen to, I'm so keen to see what it does look like. Um, this is so this is ungraded as well. I do like to add a little grade. So let's um, there we go. How's that? So I've had the nav on for a little bit. Um, the light bar, it's nicely placed. Doesn't, it's not too distracting or anything. Had uh, had police reported as well. Flashed blue and red. I thought it was pretty cool. I also got the controller mounted. It's so easy to do. Uh, they supply the little tool. The attention to detail, all this stuff though, like there's a little foresight engraving on the back of the little screw there. And there's even foresight etched into the USB-C cable that they supply. So it's all sort of, the attention to detail, man, is incredible. The helmet's very aerodynamic, it feels really sleek, it's really smooth. It's quite a windy day today um, outside. And my head just felt like so fine. I felt like I was just cutting through all the wind. Uh, it, is, it is a race spec helmet. You can take this thing around the track with the camera built in, which you can't usually. Here in Australia, you can't mount external action cameras and go onto the track. So that's a cool another selling point if you can on doing that sort of stuff. Uh, the audio quality um, through the nav is amazing. I can really hear the voice like so, so fine. And I think I've got the volume about halfway. Um, it's super comfy, very light, the chin curtain on underneath. So the audio quality should be nice and clear as well. And now my bike, is quite loud so i'll slow down a little bit and then just give it a little boot fall and we'll see how much it comes through yeah so and that's you know i'm in a tunnel obviously as well so at yeah, the price point of these bad boys are 12.99 1299 australian dollars which isn't too bad considering everything's already built in like you're not buying anything extra if you're if you want a good quality helmet that's race spec light carbon fiber has speakers and everything in it Bluetooth connectivity, you still have to buy a GoPro or an action camera, which costs around $600, and then buy your external microphone, and then buy all your adapters. For that, I feel like this is pretty damn good value for money. If you just literally buy it straight out of the box, you can do what I'm doing right now and just start moto vlogging. Uh, this, uh, this is an awesome way to get started into that into the moto vlogging realm. It's a mad, it's a mad thing, man. I'm stoked. Thank you so much, Foresight, for handing this, these out to us. We're so keen to take these on our trip around New South Wales. We literally leave in three days and man, it's going to be so epic. We're going to put them through their paces. Uh, we're going to be dual moto vlogging, me and Nick from Tribe Sydney. He's got the exact same one. And then I'll be doing a mad review at the end of it all. Um, so make sure you go and check out Foresight. Links are in the description. Check out their Instagram, see what they're up to. They're super innovative guys, very down to earth. They love a laugh. Um, they've got some really cool things happening with these helmets as well. So it's actually, it's going to be interesting to see how far they push these things, man. And if you're interested in purchasing one of these, they're releasing the next, next batch of helmets next month. So the waiting list is quite long. So if you want to get onto it, get onto it. Um, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy that this is literally their first, their first design helmet. This is their first product and it's like, it's already this sort of banging, so they're definitely onto something, man. It is a cool thing. Ah, uh, tunes, let's check it out. So this is my band, Brecky Boy. The YouTube can't get me now. Ha ha ha. They're not too bad. I feel like it's always hard to get good audio as well through a helmet speakers, especially wanting to get that bass response. It's there, man. I can hear it. I can hear it fine. I don't know if you guys can. It feels so good. Man, I'm so keen to take these on the run. I can't wait. It's going to be so epic, guys. Um, so make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to keep up to date with all the travel vibes going through desert, national rainforest. Man, 14 days. 14 days of this. It's going to be sick. Alright guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. Make sure you go over to Foresight's Instagram. Throw them a follow. Hit them up. Go say hi. They'll be, they'll be frothing to talk to you. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in next week's vid. It's going to be a good one. Peace legends.